Hello my dear friends, I welcome you all to our channel that is Best Notes Tutorials. Today we are going to do Day 20th MCQs and the maximum questions are from Lord of the Flies and uh, this is the topic which is extremely important from examination point of view. Therefore, I request everyone to be attentive while we are discussing questions and answers. Let's begin with question number one. Piggy is a bespectacled character, but what do his glasses symbolize when they are whole? See, when they are whole, it is written because later on Piggy's glass were broken. Okay, his looking glass or you can say study glass were broken. So when it was whole, all right, what does it symbolize? Here, option A is understanding, option B, his ability to see, option C, clear sightedness and knowledge, and option D, clairvoyance. So, here your option C is correct, that is clear sightedness and knowledge. Okay, if you have read Lord of the Flies, then you will be able to understand this more clearly. Even if you haven't, we are going to discuss highlighters in order to make it more clear so highlighter says piggy's glasses symbolize the fact that he alone is able to see things for what they are on the island here piggy along with his other classmates they were dropped okay through a helicap helicopter through a helicopter on an unknown island there all the boys tries to survive okay so different students or different individual had different way of thinking at the situation and their exercise of the idea as well okay the plan that they have made they had different perspectives as well so in that situation how did they survive that is what we read in the story lord of flies okay so here piggy is the character who has who wear glasses okay and his glass symbolizes clear sightedness and knowledge because piggy is the one who is intelligent among all the boys okay let's move ahead for example when the boys ask him what the mirage is, he is able to tell them. Okay, here the boys, you know, if I discuss then it is going to be very lengthy. Here boys encounter so many situations, alright, and uh, different people had different viewpoint. But it was Piggy who was able to say what was that particular thing. Okay, here they are talking about something which was hanging on the tree. Okay, that was a parachute actually, but other people thought that it was a ghost. Okay, let's move ahead. Question number two, which biblical character does Simon symbolize? Here, your options are option A, Mary, option B, Jesus, option C, Herod and option D Joseph here option B that is Jesus is the correct answer here Simon symbolizes Jesus Simon is another student okay who is just like piggy Simon is classmate of piggy Simon a member of the choir is often portrayed as an it's real character with obvious connotation to Jesus. Simon has a depth about him which means that he is able to work out that the beast does exist but within them. Here they think that they should be afraid of a beast okay, and in they are in search of that. They wanted to kill it but Simon symbolizes that beast is there within us humans are humans nature is barbaric they are wild okay first of all we need to kill the beast which is within us and then only we can see goodness 
in others so this is represented by simon and he represents lord jesus let's move ahead what does jack symbolize option a autocracy option b communism option c democracy and option d option c democracy option d socialism so here he represents autocracy it is because he wanted to rule his entire group he wanted to be the leader let's see the highlighters jack is a symbol of autocracy as he wants to control as he wants total control of the island and is prepared to use force in order to get it because of this jack can be seen as allegory to adolf hitler and joseph stalin here jack okay another classmate he wants to gain power okay he want to become dictator through power he wants to earn respect as well okay and he is he resembles adolf hitler and joseph stalin question number 4 what does the signal fire symbolize to ralph option a cooked food option b heat option c hope and option d light so here option c is the correct answer that is hope the fire in the forest represents hope symbolizes hope to ralph ralph is leader of the group let's go through the highlighters for more clearance when the boys light a signal fire to ralph signal fire to ralph it symbolizes hope of rescue as ralph hopes that passing ships would see it's a smoke and they will come for their help this is why he is especially annoyed annoyed when jack and the hunters leave the fire unattended and it goes out as a ship goes past now here they light a fire the group of boys who were in charge of signal fire they leave the uh, fire okay like that only and the nearby ship could not recognize that if anybody was in need of their help so ralph who was the leader of the group okay he was the leader of another group okay there were different groups which were divided by those um students who were dropped from helicopter all right so one of the leader was ralph and another one was jack okay so here we are talking about ralph let's move to the next question what does the conch symbolize before it is smashed okay conch is smashed through a huge stone all right so what does this conch symbolize option a lots of noise option b no morals option c order and option d no hope so here your option c is the correct answer that is order let's see the highlighters when ralph and piggy discover the shell they use it to see if there were any other survivors on the island see students what they used to do ralph who was the leader okay he always used to take piggy along with him all right and uh, they used to sound the conch okay they used to blow the conch okay conch in hindi is shank okay they used to blow that conch in order to call everyone okay if anyone is left out by listening to the sound of the conch they will gather to the this uh, you know instructed place this was the task of conch and it was used by ralph who was the group leader after discovering that there are there are survivors the conch became a tool to call meetings and keep order when the boys are talking as only the person with the conch can speak so here conch had become 
an instrument okay through whoever will have this they will be able to speak to the boys all right because in order to call a meeting loud voice is required okay therefore through conch they used to speak they used it as a loud speaker option question number 6 what does the conch shell symbolize after it is smashed okay earlier question was before it is smashed and now it is after it is smashed let's see option a shattered order no rules option b lots of morals option c no noise option d renewed hope here option a is correct that is shattered order no rules shattered order and no rules here after the conch is smashed a clear power shift can be observed more of the boys are deserting ralph and leaving to join jack and the beast is becoming more prevalent here ralph represents goodness in all the human beings and jack represents all the negative wild barbaric nature in human okay so here he took the group towards good okay and jack towards bad he was authoritative and he was not okay he was democratic you can say he worked according to the will of the group members now what we see ralph was being deserted by so many group boys it is because it shows that people are very much prone towards wrong doings than good one okay people accept wrong things very quickly than right one so here ralph represents good things and jack represents negative or bad deeds okay the conch when whole symbolizes rules and orders now it is the reverse and the boys act accordingly okay i hope this is clear everyone our next question is question number 7 what does the whole novel symbolize option a dinner with the in-laws option b love option c the warfare which refers world war 2 and option d a boy scout picnic so here option c is correct the warfare which represents world war 2 let's see the highlighters the book was written as an alternative reality to coral island in which golding william golding can portray his ideas of what would happen to a group of boys stranded on an island it is intended to act as a reminder of the warfare that is occurring in the world and an undercurrent throughout the novel option question number 8 what does ralph symbolize option a autocracy option b democracy option c communism and option d fascism here option b is correct that is democracy friends here i told you that ralph is a group of a gr- small group of boys and he is a symbol of democracy and this is demonstrated in his determination to stick by his rules even when jack has decided to eliminate him as his only opposition he is democratic in his insistence to keep everyone equal by the use of the conch in discussions let's move to question number 9 who does the naval officer symbolize to ralph your option a is his father option b his cousin option c his brother and option d his teacher 
here option a is correct his father who rescued the naval officer rescued him okay in this story so he represents him as a rescuer okay ralph says to piggy at the beginning of the novel that his father is a naval commander and so the arrival of the naval commander on the island made ralph think of his father the naval officer also symbolizes the return to order on the island and his arrival stops jack and his tribe dead in their tracks and ralph is safe safe let's move to question number 10 the book began the book begins the book begins with the arrival of the boys on the island where are the boys from option a ireland option b england option c america and option d australia here option b is correct that is england here the book begins with the arrival of the boys on the island where are the boys from here they are from britain or england the book begins with ralph and piggy wandering around the island after their plane had been shot down they are being evacuated from britain after the bombs being dropped on britain as part of the as part of the german bombing of britain question number 11 what type of shell was discovered by con uh, ralph and piggy option a clam option b conch option c snail and option d cockle here option b that is conch is the correct answer ralph and piggy discover a conch shell piggy suggests that ralph blow it to see if there are any other boys on the island another group of boys in black hear the sound and make their way to the beach after ralph and piggy are <laughs> Question number 12 the other survivors of the plane crash are wearing black what uniform was this option a boy scouts option b the school option c hitler youth and option d the church choir so here your correct option goes with option d that is the church choir the boys are members of the choir and march down to the beach in perfect synchrony they are led by a boy called jack married you question number 13 what color hair does jack married you have according to the book option a black option b blonde option c brown and option d red so here option d is correct that is red Jack Meridew is tall and red-headed. At the beginning of the book, he is the only realistic challenge to Ralph's authority and loses a vote between him and Ralph for the chance to lead the other boys whilst they are stranded on the island. Question number 14. What does Ralph call Piggy's asthma? Option A, asthma. Option B, wheezing. option c asthma and option d asthma here your option is option d is correct that is asthma let's go through the highlighters you and your asthma is often heard directed at piggy when the boys become tired of seeing him do nothing around the island to help them It is also a reference at Piggy's upbringing specifically his accent as Piggy is lower middle class with everyone else being upper class so here you need to keep in mind that this particular phrase suggests that Piggy belongs to middle class because this is a kind of 
uh, slang that is used by piggy okay let's move ahead what book is referred in the novel with the intention to portray how william golding believed it to be inaccurate option a alice in wonderland option b a christmas carol option c the bible option d coral island so here your correct option is coral island let's see the highlighters to make it more clear william golding believed that the book coral island was inaccurate because he believed that leaving a group of boys alone without any authority would not be as portrayed by the author of coral island in some ways his book was published to highlight his perceived reality of leaving children with no authority at the end of the book piggy and simon are dead and all of the boys except ralph are savages let's move to question number 16 which iconic figure can simon be seen simon be seen as an allegory to option a adolf hitler option b john lennon option c joseph stalin or option d jesus here option d is correct that is jesus let's go through the highlighters simon is believed to represent jesus because he has an ethereal quality about him and this place him this places him apart from the rest of the boys when he dies his body floats into the sea and looks almost like marble simon is also perceived to have an airiness about him as he says to ralph that you will get back all right airiness means strange thing okay something which is unique also simon like jesus died for trying to tell people the truth simon died because he was trying to tell the others that there was no such thing as the beast but in a tragedy case of mistaken identity they killed simon believing him to be the beast here i must tell you that at the top of the tree a parachute was crashed and its cover was hanging out there and all the boys believed that it was beast but simon knew it was not so therefore simon came down saying that it was not a beast but other boys thought that he himself was the beast therefore they killed him let's move to question number 17 when ralph is fleeing for his life at the end of the book which of the national services does he bump into option a army lieutenant option b naval officer or navy officer option c marine surgeon option d air force pilot so here your correct option is option b navy officer let's see the highlighters ralph when fleeing for his life from the island runs into a uniformed officer whose epaulets are made a particular focus of as a return of authority from the navy it should be appellate there is some spelling mistake Ralph when fleeing for his life from the island runs into a uniformed officer whose appellates are made a particular focus of as a return of authority from the navy at the beginning of the novel Ralph tells Piggy that his father is a naval is a navy officer navy uh, commander navy commander and so the link here is that Ralph sees rescue in his in this man who to him represents both safety and his father 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन हु आर द फर्स्ट टू बॉयज वी मीट ऑप्शन ए सैम एंड एरिक ऑप्शन बी जैक एंड रोजर ऑप्शन सी रेल्फ एंड पिगी ऑप्शन डी साइमन एंड रेल्फ सो ह्योर आवर करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन सी रेल्फ एंड पिगी रेल्फ यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट लीडर ऑफ द ग्रुप ओके ही रिप्रेजेंट्स गुडनेस इन साइड ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड ही रिप्रेजेंट्स डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट एज वेल वेर एज पिगी इज इज फ्रेंड ओके हु वेयर्स स्पेक्ट्स और ग्लासेस एंड दिस ग्लास रिप्रेजेंट्स नॉलेज एंड क्लियर साइटेडनेस ओके At first, Ralph wasn't paying much attention to Piggy, but as the book went on, he started to respect his intelligence. Let's move to question number nineteen. How do these boys call a meeting of everyone on the island? Option A: Blow the conch shell. Option B: Build a fire to attract them to the smoke. Option C: They run around the island yelling. Option D: They whistle. So here option A is correct. That is, blow the conch shell. I told you, when they were on island, they found a conch, and this conch represents order. Okay, order. And. Uh, Whoever will have the conch, they will have the authority to speak. All right, so it showed authority as well. The conch was always respected by the boys. Let's move to question number twenty. Why does Jack leave the meeting and not come back? Jack was the leader of wild group. Okay, he represents darkness inside human beings, and he represents authority. or autocratic autocratic government all right so here let's see the let's see the options option a he could not be chief option b he got bored of playing option c no one was listening to him and option d no one would hurt hunt with him so here option a is correct uh, he could not be the chief the students okay uh, who landed upon the island all right they voted who will be the leader and everybody voted for ralph again all right so they voted for ralph again therefore he became jack became angry and he left the group jack made everyone vote again for chief and ralph won again and therefore jack became angry and left the group Question number twenty one. Who was the leader or the chief of the savages? Here, of course, Jack. But let me read the options: Eric, Ralph, Roger, and option C, Jack. So Jack is the correct answer. Question. Okay, let's see the highlighters. Jack started his own gang of savage hunters, who eventually murdered Piggy and Simon. Question number. Twenty two. What did Ralph, Piggy, Sam, and Eric witness at the dance? Option A, slaughtering of a pig. Nothing, just a dance. Option B, option C, Roger being injured, and option D, murder of Simon. So here, option D is correct. That is murder of Simon. Let's see the highlighters. When Simon comes back from the beast. the he runs into the dance and is murdered here i told you about the parachute case so when he wanted to inform every boys who were on the island that it is not a beast but it is a parachute which has crashed on the tree okay he wanted to inform them but but he was killed by the group of boys who represents savages okay who were followers of jack question number 23 why is ralph crying when they are rescued option a 
darkness of man's heart option b all of these option c loss of innocence and option d the death of piggy here all the options are correct here he was crying because human heart is full of darkness he lost innocence and other boys as well next because of lack of innocence they killed piggy and simon okay let's see the highlighters at the end all the little boys cry but we know ralph is crying ralph wept for the end of innocence darkness of human's heart and the fall through the air of the true wise friend called piggy question number 24 when was the lord of flies first published option a 1914 option b 1987 option c 1965 and option d 1954 so here correct option is 1954 William Golding published The Lord of Flies in 1954. Golding got a Nobel Prize in Literature for this work in 1983. You have to keep in mind friends that this was published in 1954 and it was he received Nobel Prize in 1983. Nobel Prize odd number publishing date even okay keep this thing in mind. Question number twenty-five. Jack was an organized person. Option A true. Option B false. Here the answer is A. That is true. He was an organized person. Jack is a savage boy. When he becomes leader, his tribe is very organized. We told you that Jack is the leader of savage group whose work was to hunt the hunt for uh, food. for the island boys okay who were evacuated from a plane during world war 2 so these boys had started residing till they are rescued by some somebody from that island okay so he was the leader of that troop and the boys who followed jack were as wild as jack okay by this we have completed question answers of lord of the flies which was written by william goldings which was published in the year 1954 and for this work he received nobel prize in the year 1983 okay we will come up with other videos also till then take care bye bye and do let us know if you require any kind of um pdf okay and other materials do contact us in this email or whatsapp us in this number thank you friends we will meet again in our next video take care and all the best for your examination